Hi there and welcome to today's video tutorial. My name is Julie Kettlewell and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I'm based in West Yorkshire at the Paper Haven Craft Studio. Now today I'm going to share with you a really quick video but something I get asked a lot is how I tie my bows. Now ladies who come to my classes know that I love a nice bow and I often get asked to tie theirs for them in class but I'd rather teach you how to do your own. Um, it's not always easy and there is a lot of um, zhuzhing as I call it once you've tied your bow but I'm going to show you how I've tied this bow. Now this is a little treat for the ladies who are coming to my bingo evening. Um, over the next couple of weeks so everybody goes home with a prize and I've made these little cute um, washi tape treats. Okay so just for the purposes of this video I've, I've taped some washi tape um, onto some card just so I've got something nice um, to tie my bow around and I'm just going to share a few tips with you. Now I'm using here the Cucumber Crush and it's the striped ribbon in the annual catalogue. Now when I'm tying my bow, I always tie it upside down and I generally, unless I've pre-cut it for a class, I generally keep the loose end to the right, okay? And I start by crossing the one that was the right over the left and starting like that like you would start with your shoelaces. Now this is where it starts to go a little bit wrong for people. I'm going to do one bunny ear, okay? So I have looped that and I've pinched it with my thumb and my first finger and then I'm going to do another bunny ear, okay? So if I hold this up to the camera a bit closer I've got two loops, okay? And they're both pinched. Now this thumb here is sort of creating a little gap so I'm going to cross them over each other so the one on the left is going to cross over the one on the right and I'm going to push it to the back and let this flick over and I'm going to push it through the hole where my thumb is and pull and obviously now the bow is upside down so I'm going to turn it the right way and then I'm just going to this is the zhuzhing part. So what I like to do, the success of a neat bow is to get the knot in the middle um, really tight. So I get my finger in the loops and I pull them against each other like that. And then I'm just going to Okay, and then I will trim this piece off and I've not wasted any um, ribbon there because I've left it attached to the reel. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do exactly the same bow but I'm going to do it loose and not going round um, round a piece of card. I'm just going to get some scissors. Okay, so I'm going to take some ribbon and I'm just going to do it loose so I can do it closer to the camera for you. Now Doing it this way, you don't do the first part where you do like the first part of your shoelaces, you're not tying it round anything. So you forget the first part and you go straight onto the loops. Okay, so there are my two loops and I'm going to cross them over each other. So the left goes over the right. This loop is going to go round the back and through, let that flip, flip over, through this hole at the front and then pull. Okay, and now we need to do our zhuzhing about a bit. Now it's a bit harder to um, do this now because you've not got it tied around anything to pull against, but I've just got to keep trying to make that knot in the middle really tight. Can you hear the banging next door? That's uh, the printer's next door. Apologies for that. Okay, and there I've got my loose bow that I can then glue dot onto a project. So it's exactly the same method, but I've got the loose bow and then I've got the bow tied round a piece of card or a project. I hope you found that useful. I hope you will have a go at um, 
tying your bows. Thank you for watching. Bye.